after that. You know what? I just realized we have. Oh, look at them, best buds. Yeah, that's that's the door for There's so much you. love right here. Zeno kiss too. Nice guy. Yeah. I I, I See, really you know like what TM87 that. is. Swagger. Yeah, swagger. <laughs> you know it. You know it. And that that is Yador to a T. Okay, so um, I mean he's got shades on. Come on, look at that Squirtle swag. Ooh, Yo, Squirtle his Squirtle combos. so good. Let's. That up smash is such coverage though. So let's. And it kills off the top really early, it especially can. on a light, yes. slow, floaty like Sonic. He's gonna die on Stadium quick. Ooh. Oh, Squirtle's smashes are so ambiguous because a lot of, when they're charging. Like smash. Yeah, it could, I thought it was a down smash. <laughs> yeah, you know? we're both fools. <laughs> Got us both. Ooh, Rob smash. I'm not sure I agree with that. He didn't get Gimps, but that was close. Yeah, Squirtle's down tilt is really awesome, but it couldn't cut through that approach. Sonic's approaches are, are, are pretty solid, especially since of how fast he is. How many got Gendorf down B? Mm, this is true. This <laughs> oh, is true. no. A little, All bit right. of an early, a little bit of an early up B. I'm not sure I agree with that. Um, Squirtle's got some pretty low percent here, so let's see, let's see if Man, he can... His Squirtle tech is on point. Yeah, dude. Yador... Oh! Yador is probably that. the best Squirtle who's not in a Squirtle exclusive. Because he, he plays Kirby just as well as he plays Squirtle. And I he'll, think he's better than Cloudburst. I mean, I haven't seen enough Cloudburst to be sure, and I'm probably just probably biased right. to California. But, but, that's, but Cloud, Cloudburst is a, is a Squirtle mate. Right. But I would just argue and say Yador is the best Squirtle. He, he might be. He and might I think be. I'm also a little salty that he eliminated me 2-0 after yeah. I beat a Squirtle <laughs> in a money match. That's, Put me in losers, broke my spirit. That was a sweet... He just did a raw back air and kept sliding with Squirtle slidingness and tried to grab him backwards. That was pretty swag. That, that's that swagger right there. Yep. But actually, Xeno Kids is having a really strong neutral right now. He's just having a hard time finishing. He's got a little bit of Marth Syndrome. Ooh, he almost got him off the top. Almost, but, but he's just too high of a percent. Yeah. So, like, what, what does Sonic have to do to finish him off at this point? Hit like, him with an air, a back air. Just get him. Yeah. Just hit him. But how can he, like, is he just going to be out of the neutral? Like, or? Well, Squirtle's thing is he's really good at rolling around on the ground, kind of yeah. like Sonic. So he needs to lure Yador's Squirtle into jumping and being more in the air you can't, and you trading. You can't just hit Squirtle with a strong hit in the neutral. He's too squirrely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and small. Being small helps in that regard. Well, look and at all this Dragon Ball Z action he, he, right now. He survived 190%. I think that was a neutral there that he got hit with. Might have been the late hit though. Might have. That's true. Okay. And there. The oh. Okay. Still we almost saw a kill off the top from a aerial down. 194 percent. not not a not a character that's known for living at ridiculous. Yeah. Isn't he supposed to be light? Like what's happening? Okay. He almost died to an on spring stage. And a down smash. Or on stage absolutely spring. do it. And that that di was so good he went off the top. Yeah. <laughs> Pro di. That, that's a lot of extra credit that Squirtle got off that stock just out of nature. Ooh, that was a nice little grab after Zeno that. Kid's cooking. Yeah, he is. So let, if if Zeno Kids can continue how solid his his neutral was and actually put a lot of percent on and kill Squirtle at a mid percent, he can get the edge here no problem. And it is edge guarding Squirtle is doable. It's it's doable, but you have to do it with invulnerability. That's mm -hmm. the only way that I've found. Man, this this Squirtle is. Literally. Or it is possible to trade with the up B, even if he's sweet spotting the up B, I think it's possible to trade. Some some moves, but you have to be behind it. Okay, does he get Oh Ooh, nice! No! Squirtle read oh, that. Man. And that was, Zeno Kids was not ready. Yeah, he was. That was really well played. And even if he had teched, I mean Sonic's recovery goes straight up. What do you yeah. do? Okay, so he gets combo here. Okay, he slipped it a little he's bit. Got some up air Falcon-esque combos going on right now. A little bit. So if Squirtle Squirtle doesn't have uh the, the, the finish that Falcon has, except on floaties, where he can do the reverse forward B. Okay, we got some neutral play here. Slowing down a little bit. Yeah, uh, which is actually uh, probably a really smart move by Zeno because he's, right. he's oh, okay. He had stage control, he had center stage. Wow, that, that, was, that was a really um, gutsy up B because had he missed that hit, he would have probably died for it. I don't know why he just bounced when he probably could have edge guarded a little Bubbles. bit more. Man, how is Bubbles such a good move in Project M when it's such a bad move in Pokemon? Yeah, it's like the lowest level water move, but <laughs> okay, man, that was good. That was a good back air. Let's see if we can keep him off. Okay, no invulnerability. There we but, go. That was yeah, nice. went a little bit too high up. So good spacing. Yeah, absolutely. And Xeno Kids was ready for it. Uh, he knows, Super he close knows. now. Yeah, this this Even. is... Well, that's what's going to happen when, when you have one player who's good at the neutral but just struggles with finishing. Once he gets the kill, he's in the lead or, you know, really close. Although... But, Okay, that was crucial to get that grab and tack on some early percent. Yeah. Squirtle's armor is really only good between like up to 20, 30 percent. Yeah, 30 percent, then it's yeah. less useful. And yeah, Xeno Kids, he's, he's not getting a lot, but he's getting a little repeatedly. Without taking any hits. Exactly. He's That's doing the cool. Isaiah right now, yeah. except for that. <laughs> Don't Commentator's get curse. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> Xeno Kids. <laughs> <laughs>
he's not getting a hit. Ooh. Forward air to the face. <laughs> <laughs> Spider. <laughs> okay, that. But that was really good. Uh, back. Okay. Whoa, what a raw forward smash! That has so much vertical coverage. It does. That, well, that, really that forward smash, me. and it's 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 kind of safe too because it pushes him forward so far. Yeah. The, and mm -hmm. raw forward smash in the neutral is really working. It's kind of like that. I got that lean back. I actually don't want to say it was in the neutral though because those those were hard reads. Yeah. He was definitely kind of baiting him into doing something and being in the air so we could catch him with it. And it's got mad armor more than anything else, I think. This is forward smash. Ooh, Ooh, does he? Man, oh, and he gets him good with at the that. Bounce. And he got that was the spring. The, that perfect placement of the upbeat. Absolutely. That was exactly what he needed. He to needed tie that it up. so bad. Yeah. What's your prediction right now? Who's going to take this for game one? I Man, can't even how, tell. How you. can you say? I, I mean, I think Xeno Kids. I would say Xeno Kids because he's got the, he's momentum, got the momentum right now. You're right. Just as we say that, well, no, it's, there's there's no strong momentum in Xeno Kids. Is, he's holding stage control very well. But you know what? I thought Negative Zero was a really good Sonic, and he is. But I watched you door first round just massacre, you know, and, three stock. Oh, Negative that Zero was Sonic. so close. A few more percent, and that would have done it. Um, okay, uh -oh. so can't be trading like that. Not Sonic good. Is, Sorry, <laughs> keep going. Sonic is at kill percent right now, and yeah. Squirtle is not. But. What's oh he almost oh, got that fall no. up. Oh, oh so, so that bad. was so Squirtle close. So short. That was so close to getting that that forward B that would have that would have ended the, the the game. All right, Sonic had had stage control. Gave it up. Just wow, back and this, forth right this now. neutral game is just going back and forward right now. This is and oh, does he get it? There's the up tilt he wanted. Oh, no, not quite. Nothing. That was close. 113, 113. Ooh, <laughs> rolling around at the speed of sound right now. He is he's got the momentum. Nice. Oh, he takes it. Wow. I'm psychic. What can I say? That was that was a really that was I actually feel like that was a really excellent last stock played by by both of them. That wasn't because Yador played poorly. It was because Xeno Kids played a little bit better. Well, the the beginning Yador came out so strong yeah, in that did. last stock, yeah, and it just looked like he was gonna run away with it. Yeah. But then that's that's a serious clutch good player factor right there. Yeah. Well, when I mean, your X factor kicks in when you're losing on your last stock and you bring <laughs> it all the way back, that was awesome. Yeah. And that's that's what we as commentators and spectators love to see. This this is we're making history today, right? <laughs> best best PM tournament so far ever of all time, arguably. I, I have some bias, but absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm asking the right guy to get get a biased answer. <laughs> all right, so we're we're going to Battlefield. So Battlefield has a higher ceiling. Um, and so we're definitely going to have a little bit harder time for Sonic to be getting the up air kills. But we didn't really see a whole lot of that last game, so I'm not sure um, how much that, that particular factor is going to help him. So it might just be comfort with the platforms that's going to be helping Squirtle out here. And it might be for recovery and edge guarding purposes also as well, because uh, Sonic it might have a little tougher time you know, with a straight up, up B sweet spotting, right? I feel like that's harder in Pokemon Stadium. From yeah, that's from true. Yeah, pineapple, experience. either yeah. way. <laughs> I love it when people use that phrase. It's not even legitimate anymore. <laughs> <laughs> does, this dream line, does Dreamline not have the pineapple on it's, it re anymore? it's retextured. Oh. <laughs> okay, so back to the game. Um, we, we got some really careful neutral going on that um, neither player is, is... You know, it's interesting because both players are, are committing hard but safely, and neither can really punish the other for their for their advances in the neutral game. And that's why you have... Exactly, even 40-40. <laughs> exactly. And both these players are, are playing careful careful measured aggression Ooh, that was such a well spaced back air by Zeno Kids. He read that approach really well. Nice. A little bit of push back there but yeah neither, neither player neither player is getting greedy. We have patient two patient players here who, who really respect each other. I'm seeing so much respect given because they're they're getting that little hit in the neutral game but not pushing it too hard. Yeah, can compare this or contrast more like to the first game that was so much faster pace. What? They're really slowing it down and feeling each other out. Is kind of I, what you I expect actually, to see game one. <laughs> yes, and so and he gets the the perfect bounce Good. again. That was just such a well placed down down air into the upbeat in just the right spot that gets the jump. Ooh, that was also really Zeno close. Kids is the best Sonic I've seen at spiking up the down air. Yeah, yeah. And then following up with the spring as the finisher. That's and it's it's risky too because as we saw in, in an earlier game, um, Squirtle can can punish nice. you for that if he gets the the cancel. So yeah, so we're we're, we're back to pretty much dead even um, in a in a in a close, careful, measured, but still aggressive game. So I think uh, what's happening is Tanner, Yador, is he was at first trying to get him out more on the platforms. Ooh, yeah. edge guarding. Sonic um, likes the bottom. 
Right, right. Sonic is more of a grounded character. Ooh, ooh. Interesting trade. Man, Ghidorah you know, doing work with those air dodges. A little, Such a good recovery. A little bit, but... Oh, nice. can he get... Oh, see, look, cool. he's giving so much respect. Yeah. That was that was a... I would. I don't agree with that, yeah, That was a little bit too... Um, he, he's been, so in, been, been playing so measured, but that... I think it's because he's trying to hit him with it. That's why. true. He's and trying Zeno to capitalize. Zeno is, is going to start reading that, mm -hmm. and unless unless he starts mixing it up, that's going to be a problem. For yeah, him he's been making him pay for it pretty bad already. That, that was also a little bit of a risky up beat. So these these guys these guys are trying to hit each other. Yeah, all that caution we talked about is kind of going to the wind right now. Yeah, well, but only in like micro situations. They're they're for the most part playing measured, careful. Well, that was such a nice reverse aerial rush. I think, nice. I think he got him. That was a. Beautiful drop down back air that just kind of poked him with his tail. That was very chic esque. It fall was. off with a big back That's air. That's what I was thinking. I, I love my chic. Finishing each other's sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> reading our mi reading minds now. Ooh, that, that up smash so tall. Reaches. It Three platforms. That, you know, that might be another reason he likes this mm -hmm. stage because Squirtle's up smash is one of the few moves that does go through. Like, you know, Bowser, Mart, these guys have things that can reach, but not very many characters. That's such a strong Ooh, kill move. That was like such that. a good bubble. Um, didn't quite get very much off of though. Now, um, I see Tanner, uh, I see Yador definitely winning the neutral right yeah, now. Yeah, his aggression is paying off. I, I'm seeing Xeno Kid shielding way too much. Exactly. I feel like Xeno Kid's is scared now. Mm -hmm. He just says, I'm out, I'm dipping. I'm gonna hang out over here. Oh, well, had that been a forward smash? <laughs> <laughs> For once, if you charge it, they will come. Did not apply. <laughs> You know, kids resisting the temptation to this, roll these, in. These reverse arrow rushes are so strong right now. Oh, oh! my goodness. The, the placement of that up smash was beautiful. I think we're going to see a game three. I think we are. I, I, I want to see a game like. three. I really want to see a game three. Getting that early damage. Ooh, nice. Nice down tilt. Oh, we caught him in the air with the nair. What a combo. Oh, yeah. I know we're not seeing a whole lot of combos this game, but man, like for, for those who really understand the neutral, realize like how high level of a play we're seeing right now. Like this this game is is full of, of respect, measured aggression, and Yador stepping up hard on game on game two. Now are we gonna see uh, Xeno Kids with his X Factor again? You know, the we've second half so of his of last stock. Yeah, we've seen so much of that. And this there he this goes. could be the beginning of it. Ooh. Not quite. I thought it was gonna see a down air, but he was going for the, the reverse of the back air, I think. And that bubble is pushing and that up smash should take it. Ooh, okay. Strong. So that okay. was that was actually a moderately convincing uh, second game. Despite how close the, the, the game started, that yeah. that became very quickly the, in Yador's the, favor. The, the Squirtle show. And, you know, he ran away with it at the end. And, and now he's got he's got momentum. He's he's got solid momentum. And so Xeno Kids needs to needs to hit reboot in his brain and he needs to come back in this game three, really um, making sure that he's not making the same mistakes in game two, making sure he's not hiding in his shield, and making sure he keeps up that measured approach that chips in percent, chips in percent, until he can get that kill. He has the counter pick, so he can pick a stage that he's gonna get the kills on. He couldn't get the kills on Battlefield. Mm -hmm. So if he goes to a stage here um, that he can get those kills on at a, at a lower percent, if he can rack on the percent and get it up, get it up, get it up, win win the microtransactions in the neutral game, I can see I can see um, Xeno Kids winning this. If he doesn't do that, I feel like Yodora's momentum is gonna take him through game three. Mm -hmm. And we just saw, I don't know if you caught that, but Mac from, uh, I don't know if Xeno Kids is from SD also, but a little bit of coaching, some words of encouragement. And uh, I don't know if it's going to help him against Yador, the master of mind games, wearing a Kirby shirt, <laughs> playing Squirtle. Well, Yador is also a Kirby player and right. one, one of the best. Yeah, absolutely. I Honestly, I don't know which one he means. I feel like he just co-mains. Yeah. He's so equivalent. I, I'll see him go I'll see him go Kirby game one and Squirtle game two mm -hmm. and play just as well with both characters. I was wondering if we are going to see Kirby. We still might. We might. We might. I think I, I feel like it's it's whim dependent. Mm. I feel like yeah, Yodora is just kind of like, you know what? I'm feeling Kirby right now. Right. And and partially matchup dependent. But maybe a little bit of stage too. Maybe a little bit of stage too, but I, I feel like like more than your your average player is gonna have more like logical reasoning for picking okay, their character. Yeah. Whereas Yador, it's it's a little bit more of of like Feelings versus flow yes, charting. Yes, yes, that's a good way to put it. That's yeah. a good way to put it. And I feel like that's just kind of Yador in a nutshell. He he feels out the game, um, and it, he doesn't he doesn't tend to do the same thing twice too often because uh, unless he gets into the same situation twice and he's just feeling the situation. Instincts. Yes, that, got that's, good instincts. That's you just TLDR'd everything I said with one word. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> we're, we're flowing, man. We're just all right, so we're going into Smashville. Yeah, I definitely am not. Smashville. There we go. There's the Kirby. <laughs> and that's the what Kirby. we're talking about. The Kirby.
Ooh, okay, so Sonic feels... I feel like his movement's a little Ooh, bit sloppy right reversal now. reversal swallow! <laughs> what a good start. It did a whopping eight. <laughs> but still, it looked cool. And it, how sweet does Kirby look with Sonic's hat on? Oh, yeah. He's got he's got the hair. And look! I think oh, it made him faster! Wow. Look at him just out-dash dance of Sonic! <laughs> into a raw pivot grab. <laughs> favorite thing Kirby can do. Go. What's your favorite thing Kirby uh, can do? Dash attack off a platform. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. He has zero lag when he does that. Ah. And he can fall up. He can gimp space animals. Ooh. Ooh, okay. His, his look aerial. Look at this wall. Look at that Does he get it? Does he get it? Nope. Six okay. jumps. Not happening. Yeah, Kirby um, has uh, vertical going. recovery up the wall. Still going. Too. And Kirby will die off the top easily, but that rock will keep him I, you safe. Know, I didn't. I don't. I would have liked that for 3.5, but 3.6. That that rock is so much less safe. Ooh, okay. That was a, that was a good response to to Xeno Kids there. Uh, but Xeno Kids is doing exactly what I said he needed to do in order to win. To mm -hmm. to the team. There, there you go. So, Look at that. Yeah. Where did that fire come from? Oh, it was the, it was the uh, dash attack that yeah. you talked about earlier. My favorite thing is that he can still get the Warlock Punch from Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby's a cool character. Kirby is just entertaining in general, but he's also frustrating to play against. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but you know Yudor, Yudor's not. Absolutely, he, he's not cheap. He doesn't just go for swallow size. Right. He plays a legit like brawl, not not the Smash brawl, but like a brawler, like just a yeah. fight, slug it out. Kirby he hits you, and uh, he does. He, he uses it the swallow almost like the bite, like you see so use Wario's yeah. bite, and and that's the way the proper way to use it. I think cool way. Okay, um, so um, yeah. He definitely needs to get this stock quick though, because if, if Xeno Kids can take another stock and get the momentum, Yodora's gonna. Ooh, okay, good read, Ooh, good, good read. read. Let's see if Yodora's super oh. good at this, like okay. the down throw tech chases yeah, yeah, and dabs. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's one of Kirby's bread and butter against the, the faster falling characters and the mid falling characters. It's funny, he makes Kirby, previously one of the worst characters in Smash, look a little bit like Fox and Sheik. Ooh, <laughs> good read. Okay, yeah, this. Uh, we just, in trouble right we now. just saw the down throw tech chases. I'm like, oh, that's chic. I saw like a drill grab. Oh, it's Fox. <laughs> but apparently it's still not good enough. He's getting... Okay, okay, well. okay that back air killed. Um, but Still down a stock, though. He's down a stock on game three. And Xeno Kids has... Oh, Ooh. God, that was such a well-placed grab. Another really great pivot grab. But he didn't really get much out of it. Yeah. So I feel like he should... I don't know why he back threw. I wish he down throw and threw yeah, the damage. Be, yeah. Especially at zero. Yeah. What, is, what does Tanner need to do to bring us back? He can't even swallow side anymore. It's kind of off the table. Like, yeah. I want to see him use the hammer more. Honestly, I feel like uh, when the I see Mu, is a high percent move. yeah, but when I see Mu do it, he's so good at using the first and the second hit and the grounded yeah, one. Yeah, I just, yeah. I think it's something Edor could implement a little bit more in his game. But personal they're, preference, they're I think style. Dramatically different. Yeah. Kirby's. No jump cancel. What's no that about? So like, yeah, you'll see like like uh, Mu will go for the down throw and then Ooh. try to finish it off that first hit. Whereas Yador is trying to attack on percent, but he's not hitting it. And yeah, Xeno oh, Kids no. has his neutral game is just so overwhelming right now that um, the switch to Kirby was probably not his best move actually. And uh, you know why I think Tanner went with it is because he could tell that Xeno Kids was pulling an armada right now, just being a hyper adapter, just adapting over the set to yeah. the Squirtle. Yeah. And he wanted to throw him off a little bit, but it's it's not working out. Maybe maybe that was his mindset. That. Wow. There's another one. This is, this is dramatically more one-sided than I was expecting Ugh. it to be. I was I was expecting yeah. a close game three. Oh my goodness. Oh my, wow. the combos. Okay, well that was only 37%. I'm a little disappointed. That was a lot of moves, though. <laughs> that was a lot of moves. That's That's Sonic's like, kind of game, you know? Yeah, Meta Knight up airs. Like yeah, right. Eight times for, you know, 9%. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so wow. nice. Wow, going into such a oh. dominating game wow. three. Wow. Junebug uh, Oats. So Junebug versus Oats, I I'm actually not sure if this has ever happened before. Look at um, them; they almost look like brothers. They look like, they're looking alike right now. The glasses and the and the beards and the dark a, a hair. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Um, has this ever happened before? Oats is having a great tournament. He's taking Oates some names. Well. He's been getting Oates just better well. and better. He's, he's the Sheik SoCal player, correct? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Sheik. He's got a great vlog. He's really active. He's a good commentator. Mm -hmm. Like Oats is awesome. But Junebug. Probably the favorite to win the tournament. He's yeah, number Junebug, one seed, is, huh? Junebug is probably the most well-known player that's in attendance right now. He's seated first, and I, I haven't seen anything that would suggest he's not going to be top two. Uh, yeah. But with the with the 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 factor of the last stocks that we've been seeing today, anything can happen. Seriously, upsets guaranteed this, to happen. This is anything can happen. And uh, on a given Sunday. I don't know. Maybe maybe <laughs> Junebug is. Uh, the sleeping bear right now needs to be woken up because he kind of had a free bracket yesterday. He got a buy while Dandis left. Yeah. He hasn't really had to scrap, whereas Oats has had to beat some good people. This is true. Do you, so do you know we'll who, see if that who Oats in. had to beat to get to this match? Zach! Never mind. <laughs> I, just, I, knew, I knew somebody said Oats beat somebody that was really good yesterday. I wish I could remember. That would be helpful. Yeah, okay. 
Um, uh, I want to say he beat two Mario's. I want to say he beat Doctor Nation? and Nation. Yeah, that's possible. So how do you? No, feel, that was Chevy. I can't how do you? Remember. How do you feel about? How do you feel about this neutral? Because I, I feel like like needles, peanuts, and bananas um, are are going are going to be the the name of this neutral game. How do you feel about that? You know, it's it's interesting because they're both such uh, not aggro. <laughs> the beards. Even they're kind of laughing at how they're matching a little bit today. A little bit, yeah. Um, they're both such characters that don't like to approach, really.